This is uh, 18 kilohertz uh, SPWM uh, applied to an electronic power inverter. There we go. And we're using an inductive load, which is a fan, desktop fan. And there's a sine wave at the bottom, that's the output of the transformer. Okay, so 11 volts in, 1 volt out. AC, 127 volts. Got three microfarads on a, a 20 VA transformer. Um, this is set up. MOSFETs are stone cold. Transorbs are a tiny bit warm, but not too, not too warm. Fan's not running. Let's crack up the voltage. There you go, fan's running. 172 volts. It's a waveform. Let's crack up to 240. Two hundred forty-one, one point six one amps. Fans running nicely. Everything's nice and cool. Yep. And we've got something that almost looks like a sine wave. That is what I'm going to use for my lifter. Right, this is an ESP32 uh, powered uh, electronic power inverter. Um, the electronic power inverter um, drives a neon sign transformer, uh, which drives a Cockcroft multiplier and is sufficient to uh, power this lifter. So <clears throat> the purpose of the um, inverter is to actually sort of drive the neon transformer. Um, and, and and give more lifting power. So let's just turn it on. So my overall goal is to have one of these uh, inverter neon sign cockrofts for every single axis of a, a multiple axis lifter. So we go 65 volts, 69. It's about 12 volts in. The lifter. Oh, turn it back off again. This demo is not really about not really about good flight of a lifter, but it's just to show that you know an inverter can drive a, a neon sign transformer and power a lifter.